Welcome to the control M video on how to enable debug for control M server. This video will show you how to set your control M server and a specific process into debug mode. The amount of logs generated increases when operating in debug mode and can affect performance, so it is recommended that you activate debug only when requested by technical support. If you have access to the control M configuration manager, then you can set the debug levels by going to the control M server components on the left hand pane, right clicking on the control M server, going to the control M server debug and toggling the appropriate processes with the desired level from this page. To disable debug, the process can be reversed. We can right click on our control M server and go back to debug and from the drop down, lower it back to zero and apply our changes. Toggling the debug levels can also be completed using the command line directly from the control room server. Here we have a Red Hat server where you can run the following command to check the current debug level. ECA PR flag with the parameters of action and list. Uh, please note that this command works both on Windows and Linux command lines. And here we can see that our processes and diagnostic levels are all set to zero. In this example, we're going to place the supervisor process in debug level four and module level zero. We do that with the debug level, SU for a supervisor, four for a diagnostic level of the process and zero for diagnostic level of the module. And this debug level provides varying degrees of information and the modules are subcomponents of processes that can also be targeted, but these will be provided for you by the support team as necessary. So once we submit that, we see that the supervisor was updated successfully. And now we can check again our ECA PR flag action list. Now we see that the diagnostic level is set to four. Lastly, another way to enable debug is using CTM menu. And we go to eight for troubleshooting one for set and diagnostic level. Here we can set the diagnostic level for the process to four, the module and zero. Choose our process, which in this example is our supervisor. That will get updated and you can quit the CTM menu. Check again and it's still enabled. Once the issue is replicated or the appropriate logs are captured in debug, please confirm that it can be disabled and you can go ahead and disable it using debug level, process name, process level, module level, and check again and we'll see that it's set back to zero. This concludes this video. Thank you.